I'd like to talk about tinnitus and hyperventilation. When we hyperventilate, and don't do this, but if you breathe in that very... <sighs> it can actually bring tinnitus on. And I have been, over the last couple of weeks, practicing under-breathing techniques where you very deliberately breathe a little bit or very calmly and very slowly to actually build up your carbon dioxide levels. And this is an extremely helpful way of improving your overall breathing situation. I have had asthma all my life and as most asthma sufferers what happens with any stress is that my breathing pathways very quickly get very tight and tense and restricted and I feel like I'm suffocating and I start breathing too much and for years I've been using things like Ventolin inhalers to help open everything up again and in the last couple of weeks I've had a fantastic response to buteco breathing it's b-u-t-e-y-k-o it's a Russian scientist developed it basically you under breathe and you practice various techniques you can look it up online there's a lot of information on the net and breathing very very slowly you actually allow carbon dioxide to build you can actually kind of feel it in your lungs and on the breath more and as this happens amazingly for me it opens up the the pathways it clears the sinuses and the lungs release and the constriction opens up so quite literally you can feel the breathing getting much more efficient much deeper like there's much more gas exchange and it's incredibly relieving so the, the important thing about this the link to tinnitus if you actually hyperventilate you can bring tinnitus on it's very stressful breathing when people when they get very anxious tend to hyperventilate so by very deliberately calming your breathing down and actually just pushing slightly into the edge of building up the carbon dioxide so there are various techniques for example do look these up to, to get proper references but one is where you hold your nose and you close your mouth and you just move your head up and down holding your breath for 15 or 20 seconds and then you let go and almost immediately you can feel the sinuses opening and you can just practice this a few times until things really open up I've had a blocked and dry nose for for many years a completely dried up sensation in the eyes nose and mouth and this comes from chronic mouth breathing so when you learn to close your mouth and breathe through the nose they clear your nose with this kind of breathing approach it can really open everything up and get the whole lung system to open up too so I just wanted to share this with people with tinnitus because you may be hyperventilating and the science behind this is that if you're breathing too much oxygen in and out you also allowing your carbon dioxide levels to drop and when your carbon dioxide levels drop the the blood actually holds on to its oxygen much more tightly so if you allow the carbon dioxide to build up this actually causes the acidity to rise in the blood and it allows the blood to release the oxygen more freely into the tissues so ironically breathing calmly and slowly with more carbon dioxide allows more oxygen to get into the central nervous system and into the, into the blood system it's counterintuitive because if you think you're breathing deeply 
actually what happens is that less oxygen gets into your body. It's called the Bohr effect. So carbon dioxide is the friend rather than the enemy and building that up and learning to allow these levels to rise can be very, very helpful for many different systems in the body and for tinnitus too. In short, hyperventilation can create tinnitus. So if you have a tendency to hyperventilate or have stressful breathing, by learning to really calm and settle your breathing into slow, minimal diaphragmatic breathing, building up the carbon dioxide, it may well help your tinnitus to back off. It can be another string to your bow. Literally, when you do this, you can almost feel like the taste and the flavor of carbon dioxide building up. You know, if you drink a fizzy drink and you burp, you get that slightly sort of sour um, flavor. You can kind of feel that in the breathing when you slow it right down. And this can be incredibly beneficial. I found myself really relaxing, freeing up, breathing much more deeply and able to not go into an asthma attack because of this slow breathing technique. I recommend it highly. If any of you have high blood pressure, asthma, tend to have anxiety attacks, do look up Buteco breathing. It may be incredibly helpful.